In this video, I'm going to talk to you about my list of top 10 personal development mentors on YouTube. Hello everyone, this is Javid and you're watching my journey to high performance episode number 6. Now in this episode, I want to share with you my top YouTube influencer that have impacted my life most and that I, who I am learning from even now. Uh, who I'm watching on YouTube and who I really enjoy just watching their journey, watching their personal development stories. Now, number one uh, on my list is a guy called Thomas Frank. The reason why I chose Thomas Frank uh, first on my list because of his uh, different approach to personal development. Now, most of personal development gurus that we know on YouTube, they would tell you that quit your university and all you need is to focus on your business, focus on entrepreneurship, and etc. I mean, partly I may agree with that, that they call that university is a waste of time. You have to find your true calling, true passion, and work on that. Being self-educated is important. Being street smart is important, and etc. But Thomas Frank gives a different approach, which I do agree that university may sometimes be actually the thing that you would need most. And in his videos, he talks a lot about how to study at university, how to get good grades there, you know, tips and tricks that you may learn if you are a university student. Now, I do recommend it to all my students uh, because recently I uh, heard a story about a girl in Azerbaijan that she uh, earned the highest score to enter the university and she got a full government scholarship, but because she started uh, a company and she joined a company who is dealing with entrepreneurship who, had, who has a business idea that I don't really like and I don't think it's going to be successful and it's not even uh, a business that is focusing on giving value but it's focused on rather taking value and making money etc. She quit her university because of that business idea. I mean I think she was brainwashed and I would really love if she returned back to her university and to continue her scholarship. I mean university can be a very bad idea if you pay a lot of money and if you don't know what you're going to do with that degree or not but if you're not paying money for university if it's free for you if it's uh, you know paid by scholarship and etc definitely go for university that time that college time you can focus on yourself. Okay, number two on my list is Gary Vaynerchuk. Now, Gary is the social media entrepreneur, social media guru. Some people may call him social media guy. He started his journey on YouTube where he opened a channel about Vine Library TV, about wines and etc. He grew his father's business and then he moved on to create his own social media agency and he's rocking the YouTube now. I read two books of Gary Vaynerchuk. One is crush it and the other one jab jab right right hook absolutely gold if you are a marketer if you are learning how to do business on internet how to build your presence on internet and online definitely go check him out this guy is full of energy full of motivation and i do love him now let's go to number three this guy i absolutely love and adore him and it's not like for no reason that i put him to my mentors list even though he is I think for the moment he should be 16 years old now. Caleb Maddox. Caleb Maddox is this guy that he started his YouTube, I think, 13, 14 years old. He was putting out motivational videos and stories, and then suddenly from YouTube he exploded. Now he is 16 years old. He's giving public speeches for tens of even hundreds of thousands of dollars. He has two businesses, and he's a model of person who doesn't need university degree because he found his. Um, passion, his calling, and he is sharing his advice with other children. He has this book called Success for Kids. Uh, this guy is worth checking out. I sometimes watch him to get inspired, to get motivated, to take action. And this dude, you see like 15 years old kid going in front of an audience of 40, 50, I don't know, 35 years old businessman and delivers gold delivers value to them and you won't even feel that it's a kid i would really love my son to be like him my kid to be like him and he's another example of good parenting as well because his father being a single father he was teaching his son all he knew and he raised him properly he didn't tell him to go do chores uh, to pay him money he told him that i'm gonna pay you money for every personal development book that you read so he in instilled on him on his son this passion for business passion for personal development, passion for improving and growing every day. I love this guy, go check him out. Number four is Ty Lopez. Now, a lot of you may think that Ty Lopez is a scammer. I mean, a lot of 
bad things about him going on right now especially after he exploded on youtube he's got like millions of subscribers now i really loved him before more because before he was focusing on books and then he had this beautiful concept on uh, how to read a book a day and how to, why you should invest in your knowledge instead of investing on entertainment. Now, these ideas were, were really amazing. He had his own book club, talking about books every day and sharing that information. He was, people were quoting him as a, as a knowledge guy. That's why I really liked him. And then further on, he created this program called 67 Steps of Success which uh, gained an immense pop popularity and people started buying it and he made a lot of money on that. Number five on my list is Grant Cardone. Grant Cardone, uh, I learned a lot from him, especially about sales, uh, how to do cold calling, how to uh, create a program and then start selling and selling. Now he's the just real estate guy and he's selling different products. He's got his, his book called 10x your growth and apparently he's saying that you have to aim for maximum whatever you're earning aim for 10 times more next year and he's full of motivation full of inspiration and i really love his program about him interviewing group of people and uh, taking them as his employees and teaching them how to work and etc Dell series are absolutely amazing go ahead and check grant cardone out as well number six is Jason Capital. Now, Jason Capital is another whole story. I think his ideas link with mine as well, especially right now when he talks about high performance, when he talks about achieving your um, full potential and etc. He started out with this uh, guy uh, who was teaching dating advice for men. Now, that his advice was really good. He was talking about how to be an alpha male, alpha male, and etc. He made a lot of money, and Jason Capital went to a seminar organized by Dan Penny, who I'm going to talk to you about next. And then after that, he uh, shifted his business from dating advice to personal development, to mentoring people, how to build their business, and etc. So number seven is Dan Pena. Now, if you watched my previous videos, I did a review about Dan Pena's book. I talked uh, a little about him. Dan Pena is an amazing guy. Uh, he, he lives in a castle. He mentors students. You go and check his QLA out. I mean, most YouTubers consider him number one guy. In fact, number one personal development mentor you could have. And he is definitely one of the most expensive personal development mentors who have online programs. And not online, he's got offline program, but he is one of the most expensive mentors out there. Number eight is Brian Rose from London Real. Brian Rose is an amazing guy. I joined his Facebook group, Business Accelerator Network. I did 10 videos in 10 days challenge with him. He inspired me a lot. In fact, right now he is doing a course on uh, how to build an online business. And uh, I couldn't join this time his course, but uh, there are a lot of my friends have joined it and it's very valuable, if, especially if you want to build your business, build your brand, uh, create an online course and sell it. Go check London Reel out. Uh, it definitely was one of those YouTube channels that inspired me to do YouTube, uh, to create an online business, to create an online platform, uh, to do self-development and personal uh, development. Number nine is Lewis House. I, I've been following him recently, to be fair. I mean, I've heard a lot about him. I didn't really follow him. I started following him recently. I got his book called Millionaire Mornings. This book is an amazing uh, thing to do, especially he's talking about how to reach your full potential by waking up first thing in the morning and doing uh, the important tasks of the day in the mornings and uh, getting a lot of things done and waking up uh, as, as like most successful people do. And he really inspires people uh, to go after their calling, find what they truly want from life, find their true passion and work on that. Number 10, uh, the, the last one on the list is Elliot House. Now, the reason why I put him last, I mean, this list, it doesn't go from a one to 10, like one being the best, 10 being the worst. No, it's just a random list. Uh, they all are equally important for me and uh, I've learned and benefited massively from all these uh, mentors on YouTube. Now, Elliot House, had this challenge channel before called Yo Elliot. And if you look at his YouTube, his previous videos are uh, in fact really good. 
he used to be this um, YouTube, uh, how to say, mentor, YouTube guru, or a person you could go for questions and ask the questions that you can't really ask your father about them. He talks about a lot about how to tap into your masculinity, how, uh, especially for men, how to be grounded. And you can, uh, I mean, there are a lot of videos that people ask him about, like, uh, certain situations they're facing in life, how to avoid conflicts, how to overcome conflicts, maybe sometimes how to stand up for yourself and etc. Very good guy. I absolutely recommend him and go watch his channel as well. Now this is it for now. I hope you really like this video. I'm going to do uh, more of this kind of videos, my favorite YouTube mentors or my favorite mentors or my favorite books that I've learned and etc. I hope you really like that. Uh, if you like this channel, uh, show your support by subscribing to my channel and hit that like button and don't forget to press that notification button as well so that you'll be net notified. I'm currently doing daily videos. I'm going to do another one tomorrow. So go ahead and click that notification button, subscribe to my channel and see you in our next video.